Hello everybody and welcome to Noble Weapons 6 tutorial in the uh, quick and simple tutorial series. This tutorial is going to be a very short one and it's going to address a problem that's very common when you use alpha blended sprites to compose your scenario for example or simply to append pieces of a much, a much larger uh, sprite. Now I've set up a scene here for you that s shows a sort of uh, sea anemone poking out of a hole in the, in the seabed of somewhere deep in the Atlantic Ocean and you'll see there's a problem with this sprite in that the borders have become gray and it doesn't blend exactly well with the seabed, with the sprite of the seabed. Uh, this is something that is very common, you know, when composing the uh, big scenarios and this is a very very annoying problem that I have found a solution for. Um, now the theory behind this is that uh, the engine is essentially doing what is called linear interpolation of colors. So for example when you magnify the sprite, linear interpolation attempts to create new pixels where there were no pixels before. So essentially it takes adjacent pixels, does a linear interpolation between them and sets the pixel in the middle to be of that color. Now alpha blending has a little quirky thing that you may be unaware of and that I'm going to explain right now. Now you may be wondering if that's all linear interpolation does then why on earth is it creating a gray border around my image? And the answer to that question we're gonna find it in Photoshop. So go ahead and open up your program, uh, load the image which I already have loaded here, uh, click on layer, layer mask and create select from transparency. Um, once you do that you'll see down here to the right that it's created um, layer mask for us using the transparency that was originally embedded into the PNG image and if you click on uh, disable the layer mask then you'll have only the RGB channels here and as you can see what was hidden from us was the rest of the RGB information that's actually stored in the image. Um, what linear interpolation is doing then is it's taking one of these gray pixels from the outside the image and blending it with one of the colors inside the image. And that's what's creating the gray line around your original sprite. The solution to this problem is to paint around the border with the same color of the sprite. Uh, therefore forcing linear interpolation to interpolate between two colors that are the same and removing that ugly border that we had. So enable the layer mask again, you'll see that your image looks exactly the same, but now the hidden information isn't the same. Go ahead and save this image. You'll save it as the, uh, as the original PNG, or you can save a copy, whatever you want, whatever suits you best. Click OK. And then when you go back to Unity, it's going to re-import it. And now it's going to look fine. As you see, the border has been removed and everything blends together in a perfect way. Well, I hope you guys find the tutorial useful for your own projects. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them below uh, in the comment section. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.